Thanks for the gold, Hitler. We had fun, we had some laughs, but I think it's time for us to part ways because I just can't stand you anymore. Hello everybody, my name is JoJimboXD and welcome to the channel. And today we're back with more Hearts of Iron 4. I thought today we'd try the historically neutral country, Switzerland, to get four more very rare achievements in a single run, which I'll explain more in detail in a minute. But first, if you are new here, if you could hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out. And if you like Hearts of Iron 4, go ahead and hit that like button and I will make more. Okay, let's get into the video. I thought we could stay in Europe again. I was looking at more achievements to do and I found, I think four of them we can actually do in one go. But yeah, so here are the achievements I think we can get and you get a Canton, everybody gets a Canton as Switzerland annex 24 states. Another one we're gonna go for is Swiss cheese as Switzerland annex five states that are not continuous with each other as Switzerland. You shall not pass as Switzerland win a defensive war or offensive war without ever losing the Western Swiss style, without losing your core territories. To Switzerland essentially and then the final one I'm not liking with you as Switzerland declare war on Germany and win so we will end up joining the Axis and then betraying them we're going to be playing with historical focus on and Iron Man mode on yep so here we are in Switzerland famous for a few things they got really complex knives Swiss miss neutrality and that time they looked after someone else's gold but just don't ask where it came from so we will get into it first by let's just pick our focuses straight away. Not much choice, as it would appear right at the start, so we'll, we'll just go Swiss guiding principles. So one of the other things we're gonna wanna research is paratroopers. Also have a political component that we have to talk about here in a minute. Uh, yeah, so we want to choose a guiding principles and we're killing neutrality, so we need to go fascist. You tell people you're ending hundreds of years of tradition for achievements and they just don't understand. All right, so here we go. We have the balance of power and we can do, we basically have to get all the way here to the federal council and we have these special buttons that let us do it. So I guess we'll just do one right now. Yeah, we can do strength and military command. It also gives us command power, army XP. So it's pretty handy. We can elect a president based on our ministers that we have set. And unfortunately we probably need to get rid of one of these guys and put one of our guys in charge, but there, we hired one of our ministers instead, so next time it comes around, we can get more fascism support. All right, and now we have to choose which border we're going to fortify. Personally, probably just want to start with France, because they're not going to be alive too much longer to care anyways. But we will end up building a border on Germany anyways. We just won't tell them about it. All right, after we fortify the border with France, we're going to buy some German planes. That'll cheer them up. And I think next we're going to go for some armed neutrality. I think that'll allow us to recruit more units. And we will add federal police intelligence department. So that should help us get some more fascism. Start shifting the pie closer to this brown color. Uh, okay, here we go. So this is what I was waiting for while I was saving our political power. We can elect one of the three ministers to be the president. So we want our guy in charge, which is uh, Hans Oler over here. So we'll get him. All right, now we can do the petition of the 200. Yeah, 200 petition, 200 petitioners saying, hey, we want to be fascist now. I guess they probably wouldn't phrase it that way. Probably be more, hey, let's look after the own national interest now. Uh, yeah, yeah, they have some good points, obviously. We're the ones who wrote it. Yes, I agree. We do make some good points, don't we? Yeah, and we'll consolidate our power and keep pushing this bar more to the federal council. And we'll keep spying on Germany. Just playing the real long game against them. All right, we can elect another one of our ministers. So what do we have? Oh, we only have one of our guys in there. Yeah, so we got to get Benno in there. Good luck, Benno, oh boy. All right, I'm going to start building airframes now. I wish I had heavy machine guns, but I think a few just mediocre planes are, be are better than no planes at the moment. And we're really going to save most of our military XP for making our divisions are not terrible once we complete the focus that allows us to do that. Alrighty, next we're going to abandon neutrality. As I said, centuries of history and reason behind neutrality, just throw it all out the window because we're getting achievements. All right, since we have no interest of becoming a German puppet, we're gonna promote Tobler instead. To slow, slow but steady transition to a German ally. All right, so we'll get him. Yeah, we need to espouse fascist ideals. Screw stability, we need to be more fascist so we can go down the focus tree. I hope I didn't mess that up. That would be very frustrating. Here we go, I can go and uh, crack down on democracy and stuff. I think that's what I need to do. 
that fixed the problem. Just a little bit of limiting, just a little bit of censorship. And now we'll ban their whole party. Now we'll centralize Switzerland. We're just trying to consolidate our power now. Dang it, we need more support. We just have to keep cracking down on them. That will be problematic if I can't join the Axis. Well, that's annoying. That's gonna be a restart because I didn't do the minister thing right, apparently. Ugh. All right, well, we'll restart here and I'll get back to where we were. I'll clean up my mistake. I'll be back with you in a moment. Yeah, renounce guiding principles. Yeah, get rid of that first. We need to oust these counselors too. So we're just gonna save up our political power for now. I think that's partly what we did wrong. Thankfully, we didn't get too deep into the run. See, I'm doing much better this time. We're actually going slowly up in fascism. All right, we are up to where we were last time. I've made pretty good time getting back here, but we are now going to attempt to join the Axis. I fixed the political situation. See, so you didn't really miss too much. Oh, and I can actually make my infantry divisions now. There, and in case you're curious, that's my generic all around, just general purpose infantry template right there. And there we go, we joined the Axis, but we are not going to help in this war. So we just need to wait for Germany to beat down France and create Vinci France. No, Germany, I don't think I will be helping you in your war. I think you're doing just fine on your own. And there we go, they have created Vinci France. That's what we needed them to do. And we will set these troops on this border here. All right, now I believe we will start justifying on Vinci France. Since we are in an alliance with the Axis, they should let us get away with this. We need this cool flag with a halberd on it, but we will be getting an even cooler flag, I think, here in a little bit. All right, we have finished justifying on Vinci France. We are in a faction with the Axis. They are not, so we should be okay to do this. Let's get ourselves some seaports. Oh yeah, let's get our planes out as well. Just snake their airports while they're not looking. There we go. And surrounded a bunch of units up there. We're gonna do a trade agreement with Germany. They created Vinci France, and they are such good friends, they're letting us do this to their new puppet country. And now we're gonna do a trade deal. We'll just keep cutting them off. Got a bunch of them surrounded there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go this focus. I don't know how I feel about participating in this because uh, it's not really great where this money came from, but we'll do it anyways. All right, let's get the paratroopers ready to invade Algeria. All right, we have air superiority. We will try and land in Algeria. And there we go. Now we got Vinci France. We're gonna just annex this all, but we'll probably end up puppeting a bunch of it. Hey, there we go, there's two achievements. You didn't see it, hang on, let me turn off my overlay. Swiss cheese, as Switzerland, annex five states that are not continuous with each other other than Switzerland. And you get a canton, everybody gets a canton, as Switzerland have 24 states. Apparently, all right, so there we go. There's half the achievements right there. We get to do this one now, the Alpine supremacy, and we'll get our cool new flag. And there we go, we are the Alpine Supremacy. There's our new color, and check out our spiffy new flag. Kinda reminds me of something from Fallout, something you'd see a raider faction have. We're going to wait for our opportunity to betray Germany for our last achievement. So we're gonna wait for them to do Barbarossa, and we're just not gonna help them do anything. And there we go, there's Germany's war on the Soviet Union. We'll just, hopefully the Soviet Union won't die too quickly and once we see them getting close to capitulating and we think the Allies are making a breakthrough, we'll betray Germany. And now, because we're taking fortify the border with Germany, we'll get a huge border fort all along this line for free. Will we need it to hold? I don't know, but I want it anyways. And let's get rid of this faceless man. You even get to see Hitler's face in this game. What'd this man do to get his face blotted out? And there we go. Look at all those forts we got. Nice. Just as a backup. I don't think we'll need them, but just in case. How's the war going over in Russia? Slowly. Good. That's what we want to see. And we'll just keep training more and more air wings. We can actually get a surprising amount of air force as Switzerland. Come on, Germany. Hurry up and lose already. Waiting for, oh, the UK did land in Italy. I was gonna say, I'm waiting for them to land and do something with that. It looks like they're busy fighting in Greece. That's fine, we're just gonna be, pull the old neutral card and not get involved until we wanna get involved. Oh yeah, we're really pumping out planes now. <laughs> Almost be able to beat the Axis on our own with just our planes. 
All right, now we made some really beefy casts and air, so I think when we go to war with Germany, they'll absolutely get devastated by our air force. Looks like they're trying to attack through the Balkans. Oh, okay, they're landing in Italy, so we may need to go soon. All righty, I think the time has come. Thanks for the gold, Hitler. We had fun, we had some laughs, but I think it's time for us to part ways because I just can't stand you anymore. Now it's time to get two more achievements and betray our former allies, but we are gonna get our air force out and just start hitting them everywhere. Are they just not ready? Are they off this border? I might be able to push for a while. This may be very greedy of me, but let's see what happens. Well, I already got some units encircled down there. So I guess it is kind of working. We're going to offer military access to everyone because we want everyone to attack through us. We want everyone to line up. Everybody gets military access. Come on in. You don't need to do a Normandy invasion. You can just attack through Southern France. We're gonna try and join the allies. There we go, and there's the invite. But yeah, Churchill was cool with us, joining us the allies. You tell him you want to betray Germany and he's just like, all right. All righty, here comes the allies to reinforce our lines. And there goes Italy exploding into a civil war. Alrighty, there goes Italy down. No, I'm not gonna help you in your other wars. I'm neutral, remember? Keep improving relations. If I let that stop, I will be booted, and then all their troops will be pulled off my border, and it'll be... I can get them back, but it'll just be annoying. I just don't want to have to deal with it. I'd rather them stick around, at least until I get most of the German army cleaned up. There we go, now we got a bunch of them trapped. There we go, there's a big pocket, there's some more pockets. Did I get kicked from the Allies? I did. Yep, they do this. But I can't offer them military access, which which I think will stay even if they keep kicking me out. And at least they'll stay in my territory and keep, you know, watching my line. Wait, is Free France not going to seriously give me military access? I'm trying to help you out here. Thanks for our country back. I know you all sacrificed a lot and we couldn't have done it without you, but get the hell out. If somebody would let me back in, I could help keep pushing through France. But Free France is all mad at me, only because I'm occupying half their country. Jeez. I'll get back in the Allies and let's see what Churchill has to say. Hey, Churchill! Funny, I was just talking about you. Uh, let's keep improving relations with the UK before they get mad at us again for being fascist and just simply existing. And there we go, more divisions crushed there. Very nice. And uh, I think it's time to start releasing our puppets. I think the manpower issue is finally coming to a head, as I knew it would if I had to end up doing this much pushing. Yeah, Vietnam, for example, let's release that. That's 116,000 manpower we can have back. Hey, we're back in the Allies again, jeez. Here we go, we're making big breakthroughs. Just run, just run through their lines. Nice, how many deaths are Germany up to? Oh my God, I've, I've legitimately never seen it that high before. 13 million, holy cow, and we're not even done yet. Yeah, I got Berlin. Do I have to actually capitulate them? Oh, uh, probably. Uh, well then who do we gotta be? The Balkan states? All right, let's get rid of them. This should be pretty easy. They're gonna get crushed from two directions now. Yeah, and it's a slaughter in the Balkans. I mean, Germany lost 3.36 million at the end. Oh my God, the Axis in total is up to almost 20 million deaths. And we got kicked from the faction again. And there goes the Axis. Hey, and there's the other two achievements. I'm not locked in here with you. As Switzerland declared war on Germany and wins. All you have to do is betray your friends to do that. And then the other one is, you shall not pass as Switzerland win a defensive war without ever losing just basically your core territories. This is where we'll actually leave it off for tonight. Uh, that is four more achievements in the bag. Thank you so much for watching this to the end. If you like what you saw, you can always hit that subscribe button. And if you like Hearts of Iron, hit that like button and I will make more. All right, have a great night, everyone.